accountable. Yes. Hear me again. He holds parents accountable to train them up in the ways of the Lord. Amen. Proverbs 22 and 6. Yes. Train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not stray from it. Amen. As parents, we have to teach our children to fear the Lord. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the consistent awareness that God is holy. Amen. As his children, we are to be holy as God is holy. That's Amen. Right. God is aware of everything. That's right. And I emphasize everything. Amen. He sees, yeah. he hears, yeah. and he sees all that you are Consider what is appropriate for their age, level, and understanding. Yes. Talk about temptation yes. they will likely encounter mm -hmm. and discuss how they can resist Satan in those areas. Mm -hmm. Develop an atmosphere of love and trust in your home. Amen. Amen. You are the head and That's not right. the tail. And, appreci and approach them with questions mm -hmm. or struggles that they are facing. Yes, Lord. Amen. Teach your child the importance of staying under authority. Yes. Rebellion is dangerous. Yes, Lord. Rebellion is dangerous yes. because through it we withdraw from the protection and guidance of God. Amen. Giving authority and exposing themselves to the attack of the devil. Teach your child how to cry out for the Lord for help yes, when faced with temptation yes, and trouble. They can turn to God for wisdom and deliverance. Yes, In the day of trouble, I will call upon thee, yes, for thou wilt answer yes, me. Yes, Psalms 86, 7. Amen. Teach your child that God's word is their protector, yes, Lord. their armor, their shield, yes. their way out of ugly situations. Yes. Teach them to call on the name of Jesus when all else fails. Yes. Yes. Call on Jesus when they have no one else to call on. Right. Right. Teach them to call on Jesus when there is no hope. Amen. When your mother fails you, 
When your father fails you, all right. When your brother fails you, yes. when your sister fails you, all right. You can call on the name of Jesus when you're standing by yourself. Amen. He said he will never. He said he will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes. He will be with you until the end of time. Amen. Anything you ask in the name of Jesus, it's yours. Yes. It's yours for the asking. You have not because you ask not. All right. Remember, the battle is not yours. Yes. Amen. It's the Lord. It's yes. The Lord. So many of our children run to the wrong source. Yes. Teach them that the only source is Jesus. Yes. First yes. Corinthians 8 and 6. Yes. For us, there is only one God. That's right. The Father who is the source yes. of all things. Amen. And I said all things. Amen. Philippians 4:19. And my God will literally supply all my needs right. yes. according to his riches yes. and glory. Right. These are the promises. Yes. Children, these are the promises, children. They're for you. If God promises for you, he will stand by you. Right. Why? God is not a man that he should lie. Right. Nor the son of man that he needs to repent. Right. If he said it, Will he not do it? Yes. God's word will never, and I mean never, It's only one way to go, well, and that's to Jesus. All right. We need to teach our kids how to stand alone. Yes. Every believer should learn when and how to stand alone and against evil yes. and stand for the truth. Amen. Amen. Teach your child that when they resist the devil or stand up for what is right, yes. They are never alone Amen. because God is always with them. Amen. Parents pray a daily hedge of protection over your children yes. That's right. That's every right. day. That's right. One powerful weapon available to every Christian is prayer of protection. That's Satan complained about the head of protection around Job and yes. his family. Yeah. Has not thou made a hedge about him and about his family, house, and about all that he has on every side? Yes. Job 1 and 10. Yes. Parents, it's up to you yes. to put a head of protection over your children. Amen. 12 years and under, you're not responsible for placing that hedge over your placing that hedge of protection. 12 years and older, 13 and older, God, I mean 12 years and under, forgive me, God will not hold them responsible. Amen. As parents, it's our responsibility to train and teach our children to pray. Teach our children to pray over themselves. However, at the age of 13 and above, God starts holding you responsible and accountable for your actions. It behooves you to start paying attention to your parents, listening to your parents, how they pray, and cover their household. Amen. So you can start praying and covering your household, your family, and yourself one day. Amen. Learn how to resist the devil. When you find yourself in situations and you can't reach your mom or your dad. Yes. You will have you will have, you will have enough down inside yeah. of you to fight the enemies yeah. off of you. Yes. All you know, you will know how to stand to the enemy. Yes. Even when you're weak, yes. 
Yeah. He is strong. Yes. He will pick you up and turn you around and plant your feet on solid ground. Amen. Open up your mouth and allow to speak his word, to resist the devil yes. and tell him to flee. Yes. Amen. 13, 14, 15 years of age and so on. Yes. Fear may grip you, but God will never leave you. Yes. You may not feel like you fit in with your boys in the hood. But you have the words rooted down well, on the inside of you. Yes. That will cover you from hate, envy, malice, and jealousy. Yes. You will even know how to tell the enemy to flee. Yes. How to resist this ugly ways of this world. Yes. You will see him for who he is, Amen. the green-eyed devil. All right. When you live in the hood, sometimes you got to fight for salvation. Yes. But if you're rooted and grounded in God's word, yes. you can tell your enemy yes. you don't have a clue who you're sitting next to. All right. uh, you can look them straight in the eye and tell them, I am a child of God. Yes. Right. My God will fight all my battles. Yes. Right. Young, young men, young ladies, you may find yourself in a situation and you can't find a way out. If you know that you know that you know that you are a child of God, well, you will feel all that and you will not fail. Amen. You can say, I'm all messed up. Just cry out, Lord, fix me. Amen. Jesus, have mercy on me. Yes. Anytime you ask for mercy, you already know you're messed up. Yes. You already know you don't deserve what you're asking yes. for. Yes. But maybe, but maybe because God has compassion, yes. maybe because God, because of his kindness, yes. maybe because of his righteousness, yes. Yes. but because he loves you, mm -hmm. he will do what you ask him. Yes. Amen. I'm talking about mercy. I'm talking about unmerited favor. Yes, Lord. I'm sure some of you have been in some situations and the only one that could save you was Jesus. Yes. Right. His unmerited favor. Yes. God's mercy will keep you. That's right. Some of you have sh should have been sleeping in your cooling box. Right. But God, okay. but because of his mercy, you are still here. Amen. Because of his mercy, what you should what should have happened to you didn't happen to you. Because of his mercy, Jesus wrapped his arms around your little body and protected you from the seen as well as the unseen. Amen. Because of his mercy, he sent what you needed. When you need it, when you needed it. Because of his mercy, Jesus kept you from going that way when you wanted to go that way. Somebody ought to thank Jesus for his mercy. Sometimes you have to forget about self and confess to the Lord. I may complain. I know nothing is ever enough. Yes. No matter how much you give or do for me, mm -hmm. I still want more. Amen, amen. But I know I deserve nothing. Yes. But God, you still send me mercy. Mm -hmm. amen. God, change my mind. Yes. Change my attitude mm -hmm. that I will be satisfied mm -hmm. with what you gave me. Amen. Amen. You, you can, can I drop something in your spirit? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want to be made whole? Mm -hmm. well, Do you want to change your mindset? Yes. Amen. Do you want people to be around you? Mm -hmm. Then stop whining. Mm -hmm. Stop whining and stop complaining and be thankful for what you have. All Amen. right. And don't forget to say thank you. Amen. People don't have to be nice to you. Amen. But when they are, you should say thank you. Yes. yes. Amen. It's nothing worse than being around someone that complains all the time. Amen. And they just don't see no good. All right. But yet, they can see good when someone is doing the wrong thing. Mm. Why is it so easy for our children to gravitate 
to the wrong things in life. Tell me why. Why is it so hard to resist the devil? Resisting the devil will bring peace, mm -hmm. joy, and happiness in your life. Amen. Staying with the devil will bring you nothing but misery and pure H-E-L-L. -L. Mm. But staying with Jesus, mm -hmm. when you call him in the midnight hour, yes. he will respond. Yes. Yes. When you knock, he will answer. Yes. He may not come when you call him, yes. but he is always, He's on time. always, always. on time. Yes. He's an on time God. Amen. I'm so glad that his answers mm -hmm. are better than what I'm looking for. Yes. I'm so glad that when I'm ready to throw in the towel, God will throw it back. Amen. He's saying, my child, don't give up. That's right. I'm so glad he hears my prayers. Amen. I'm so glad he's a keeper. Yes. I'm so glad he said he'll never leave me. Yes, Lord. I'm so glad that the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that Jesus loved me so much that he threw the towel back at me. Amen. You know what God said? You don't have to give your life, mm -hmm. I'll give mine. Right. Is there anybody glad yes. that God allowed Amen. them to whip him? Amen. That God allowed them mm -hmm. to spit on him? Mm -hmm. That God allowed them to knock him to the ground? Yes. He even allowed them to nail him to the cross. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that he died Hallelujah. when we didn't have to. Hallelujah. I'm so glad Hallelujah. he died and Hallelujah. paid all this with his life Hallelujah. that we may have life Amen. and have it more abundantly. Amen. I'm so glad Hallelujah. that he couldn't stop there. Yeah. He couldn't stop there just to die. Yeah. He had to have victory yeah. over death. Yes. So you know what he did? Yes. He stayed down on Friday. Yes. Amen. He stayed down on Saturday. Yeah. But Sunday. Yeah. And I said Sunday. Tell somebody Sunday. 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 On Sunday, he said, God, they said, God, rise. Yes. yes. Sunday, mm -hmm. he rise. Yes. He rise to throw the towel back at you. Yes. He rise to throw the towel back at you. Yes. I always say, won't he do it? Yes, yes he will. Yes. He did it for you, yes. and he did it for me. Yes. When he threw in the towel, God threw it back at us. Yes. So we will resist the devil mm -hmm. and he will flee. Amen. Know that God is a keeper. Yes. Know that God is there for you whenever you are finding yourself going through any form of hardship. Yes. He will never leave you. Amen. All he wants you to do is cry out for him and ask for his help. Yeah. He wants you to get out of his way. Oh, right. He wants you to step to the side and oh. stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord. Yes. Know that God got you when nobody else have your back. Oh, know when you cannot pick up the phone and the other person on the other end is not answering. God still got you. Yes, know that when you're walking down the street, the arrows are flying through the day as well as the night. Yes. And God still kept you. That's right. You are here. You're here for a reason. That's right. You're not just here to take up time and space. That's right. As well as we're talking to the adults, as well as talking to the children. Right. If you are still here on this earth, mm -hmm. know that God got you here for a reason. Right. He Amen. wants to use you. That's right. Are you going to be willing to be one of his willing vessels? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be willing to say yes instead of no? Yes. We always want God to do something for us. Yes. What are you going to do for Jesus? Yes. How are you going to say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Are you going to always sit in that chair and do nothing? Yes. No. That's not the kind of God we serve. Amen. We serve an awesome God.
on God. Right. We serve a forgiving God. Yeah. We serve an understanding God. Yeah. And he will grant you the desires of your heart. Yeah. When your ways pleases him, yeah. he gives you the desires of your heart. Right. Ask me how I know. Mm. He has blessed me in ways that I can't even imagine. Right. He has taken me from places that I never thought I would walk away from. Amen. He has taken things out of my mouth that I never thought I would stop putting in my mouth. Amen. He has cleansed my soul. Right. And right. I am thankful. Amen. And I am grateful yes. that I found the Lord. Amen. Will you be thankful and grateful right. when God comes into your life? Right. Will you trust him before you trust man? Man cannot do nothing. And I say absolutely nothing for you but what? Fail. Amen. He will fail you every time. How many times when you needed man for something? And he said to you, I got your back. Right. But when that time came, what happened? You can't find him. Right. He's not picking up the phone. He's not giving you what he said he was going to give you to help you out of that situation. But God, but God, Amen. when you go to God and ask God and say, Lord, I need this. Lord, I need that. He's going to take his time because he got to figure out, do you really need this now? He can't give it to you every time you ask right away. That's what it means when he say, when you call him, he's always on time. He don't give it to you right away. But you get it. And God has to make sure that you're mature enough for it. Right. Can you handle what you're asking for? Mm. Can you handle it and, and, and use it in good leadership? Yeah. Or you want to use it in the devil's way? Right. Right. See, guess what? If man don't know you, God knows all about you. Yeah. He knows what you can handle and what you cannot handle. Right. But most importantly, I'm asking each and every child in here and that's out there, trust in the Lord with all your heart yeah. and lean yeah. not into your own ways. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will give you the desires yeah. of your heart. Amen. Most importantly, ask God to show you how to resist the devil, and he will flee. Amen. I pray that somebody receives something from this message. Even if it's just one person, guess what? God is going to get the honors and the glory. All right. I thank you once again for allowing me to come before you. Amen. Most importantly, Lord, I thank you for using me in the way that you see me. I ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord yes. for that message. Amen. We praise God for the message and also the messenger Amen. who delivered that word. Amen. My sister, that came from my sister. Yes. Amen. Amen. I thank God how he has grown her Amen. in her walk. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's an awesome word. It's not just a, a, a good word. It's an awesome word. Especially directed towards our youth. Those are words that they can live by. And we thank God for that message. Amen. 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 As we come to the close of our service, we want to give an invitation. And the invitation that we give is a three-part invitation. The first part of that invitation is for those who are seeking salvation. Those who are seeking a closer walk with the Lord. Those who are determined to give their lives to Christ. Beloved, it is easy. It is easy as this. Romans 10, 9 says this. You confess with your mouth. Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised them from the dead. Amen. Guess what? You 
shall be saved. Okay. It's that easy, beloved. That easy. It doesn't take rocket science. Yes. Not at all. No. Beloved, if you do those things, who are joining us online as yes. well, all you have to do is say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Yes. I desire that you come into my heart. Yes, God. Change me. Make me new. Yes. yes. And you confess those things that yes. you believe Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart. God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Yes. Beloved, is that easy? Yes. Is there one? Yes, God. If there's one that's joining us online, you can put in the chat your contact information Amen. so we can get in touch with you. Yes. And we can lead you in that salvation prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That will bless your life. The next part of the invitation is for those who are backslidden, who've turned their lives away from Christ. Amen. Beloved, all you have to do is say, Lord, forgive me. I want to rededicate my life yes, back God. to you. Yes, God. And it's done. It's done. We know that we have prodigal sons and prodigal daughters yes. who are out there. But God loves us all. Yes. That he forgives us. Yes, and he wants to see us back in that fold. Amen. But it's a matter of the heart. Amen. We have to rededicate our lives back to Christ. Yes. Those who have turned away. Yes. Beloved, again, you can put it in the chat. Amen. We can pray for you. Yes. We can guide you to a church home. Yes, God. If that's what you're seeking. Yes, God. Which is the last part of our invitation, which is church membership. Yes. You can have that too. Yes, God. We know that church membership does not save. But our love for Christ and our believing that he died for our sins does. Yes. That's what saves. Amen. Church membership is, a, is, is for those who desire to grow. Those who desire to be encouraged in their lives. Yes. Well, beloved, here at Celebration Christian Worship Center, you are welcome. The doors of this church is always open. Amen. We're located at 550, 552 North 52nd Street here in Philadelphia, right on the corner of 52nd and Wyoming Street. Amen. Our church service begins at 1115. You can join us. Our beloved pastor, Pastor Thaddeus S. Taylor Sr., who leads us. Amen. Who teaches us, Amen. who guides us Amen. in the Word of God, Amen. would love to greet you and see your smiling face. Amen. So please join us here at Celebration Christian Worship Center. Yes. If you're in this community, Amen. if you're not in this community, join us online for this worship service. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there one? Again, put it in the chat, Amen. and we will connect with you, your contact information. Amen? Amen. 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 If all hearts and minds are clear, let us stand as we read the benediction and be dismissed from the house of God. Amen? Oh, and by the way, we have some light refreshments. Yes that you can partake in. We're going to say a quick prayer over the food real quick, and then we're going to say the benediction, and then you dismiss. Heavenly Father, bless the food. Lord God, that we partake. May we uh, digest it, uh, Lord God, and use it for the building of your kingdom, Lord. Amen. So we thank you for it. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Let us go to the Lord for the benediction. And now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling Amen. and to make you stand in the presence of his glory, blameless, Amen. with great joy, yes. to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Yes.
be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, yes. both now and forevermore. Let the church of God say amen, 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 amen. 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 amen.